Hello and welcome to DFW Chefs Focus on the Food. I'm Jason Driscoll, your host. Truly just want to welcome you to the video here. Definitely do appreciate you choosing to watch. So we've got, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a, a western omelet today. So here we have our eggs scrambled up, cheddar cheese, we got some butter, salt and pepper, and then we've got our ingredients here for the western omelet, the part we're going to put in the middle. And uh, of course I'll, I'll put a list there underneath of the video as well, as well as uh, the approximate amounts there. Uh, so of course uh, what you're going to have is onion, mushroom, tomato, pepper, ham, and of course we're definitely going to put that good old cheddar cheese in there. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and saute up our vegetables. We're going to go ahead and get those cooked up good. Then we'll start working on the omelet. Alright, so we've got our pan here. We're going to go ahead and preheat it, and then, then we're going to saute these vegetables and ham up, get it all good and cooked, nice. So of course you can saute it off in some olive oil, butter, whatever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and put a little olive oil in here. Okay, so we got a little olive oil down in there. Just going to spin it around the pan there. So now we're going to go ahead and throw our mixture in the pan. Take it and saute it up. Just toss that baby around a little bit. All right, so once you've had a chance to let your Southwest egg omelet mixture cook up, got it nice and soft, ready to go, just going to go ahead and pull it off to the side. Now you can go ahead and get your omelet pan. You want to use something that has a nice non stick coating there, it makes it a lot easier. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this go ahead and preheat a little bit. And I like to turn, turn mine down a little bit. Just depends on how you like the outside. If you like it a little crispy, go on and turn it up. If you like it lighter, turn it down. Whatever, however you prefer it. So now we're just going to let it preheat and then we'll go ahead and get this going. Okay, so what we're going to do is just pop a little butter in there. Once you get your butter in there, you just go ahead and coat it all the way around. I want to get it up on the sides a little bit too. Uh, help to keep it from sticking to the sides there. Once you got your butter in there, next thing we'll do is go ahead and put our eggs in. Okay, and I'm using three. Three eggs there. So anywhere between two and three would be fine. Alright, so once you have allowed your eggs to cook up on the bottom some, you'll start to see that it's hardening around the edges. So you want to take a spatula, just kind of loosen it from the edges there. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and put in your mixture. And I'm actually going to fold this back away from me. So I'm going to line my filling right across there. Go ahead and put some cheese on it. Oh, let's put a little more cheese on it. Everybody likes cheese. Then I'm just going to take a little salt and pepper, season it to taste in the middle there. Now I'm going to let it cook up just a little bit more, then we're going to fold it. Okay, so what you want to do is, to make it a little bit easier on yourself, is you can lift the bottom of the pan. We're going to get the spatula underneath the hair, and we're just simply going to flip it up. Okay, and you can hold it. It may split on you in some places, that's okay. You can work with it. Flip it over. Okay, so now we got it flipped over. So let it cook up a little bit more on that side. You want to try to get it folded as much in half as you can. The more filling you have, the more difficult it becomes. Then you can just sprinkle a little cheese across the top of it there. A little extra. You want to turn your heat down way down at this point. That way you can let it melt. 
You can even season up the top with a little more salt and pepper if you like. Alright, so depending on your personal preferences, you can even top that omelet off with some fresh herbs. I personally like thyme. It's one of those things that goes well with just about anything. Uh, so I'll pop me a little thyme on there. So now we have a southwestern omelet ready to enjoy. Alright, so this is just an alternate presentation there to that southwestern omelet we just made. Uh, got some topping, did some extra topping, put it there in between that omelet. Of course, sliced us up some wonderful heirloom tomatoes. Man, that's a, that'd be the tastiest tomato you ever had. Actually grew them out there in the garden. Uh, just makes a wonderful, wonderful breakfast. Definitely want to thank you for watching DFW Chef's Focus on the Food. I truly appreciate your continued support. Thank you.